are you concerned because Dr. Google said that your little one has autistic spectrum disorder because they twitch? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a case study of a little one who we met recently here in our clinic. This little one is eight months old and mom came in concerned that he has these twitches which she read up on Google is a sign of autism. So she really was very worried and just thought maybe he's got autistic spectrum disorder and she wanted him checked out. So what we did was we did a full assessment on this little one, looked at how he moved when he's on his tummy, how he moved when he's on his back, how he moves when he's in sitting, and how he moves when he is held upright or supported in standing. Now, this little one is eight months old and he was able to roll from front to back. He was able to sit up from lying and he was able to move out of sitting into crawling and he was starting to pull to stand. Now, at eight months old, that is actually advanced gross motor skills. And when we did it on an assessment tool like the AIMS, we could clearly see he was performing at 95 centile for his age group, which means he is advanced in his gross motor skills. The one sign that mom was worried about was he sat there and occasionally did a bit of a twitch like this. So he was twitching his feet and hands briefly and tends to do it when he's excited. So he might do this when he's excited. However, in the hour that we spent with him, he only did it briefly for once when he was excited. And beyond that, it wasn't something he did. So I thought I'd jump in and actually share. If you see your little one get a little bit excited and they tend to get a little twitchy or they might go like this, they only do it once a day or maybe if you look at your day and they might do it for less than 5% of the time, it's unlikely that they have autistic spectrum disorder. In fact, this child was so advanced in his gross motor skills and badly, he had great eye contact, he was completely not autistic. But looking at Dr. Google, if you only Google one feature, it can tell you a list of possible conditions for your child, which ends up making you really, really stressed. So if that sounds like you, you were ever concerned about your child, instead of going to Dr. Google, what you should do is to speak to an expert pediatric physiotherapist about your child, their behaviors, their gross motor skills. If you would like to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists, here at My Favorite Physio, what you need to do is just ring us on 02-97-904233. We would love to speak to you and just help you ease up that concern. If we need to, we will help you book an appointment so that we can do a full assessment on your little one, rather than you sitting there losing sleep and getting very stressed, thinking your child has all sorts of rare and wonderful conditions. Now, if you know somebody out there who's literally in that stage right now, stressed out, worried, not getting sleep, thinking that their little one has some sort of weird and wonderful condition, because Dr. Google said so, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.